Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL Store Pro tutorial for beginners. This is our part 4. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about variables and parameters using inside stored processors. Now if I back to our PHPMy admin, so inside our previous video, so far we had seen about how can we create a stored processor using command as well as we had seen about the PHP my admin provided user interface. Now let's say that if you want to use some variables inside a stored processor or if you want to pass some variables to call to call our stored processors, so how can we achieve these? So what basically I mean to say if I back to slides, open a new tab and as we know that we have a begin and end block to declare our stored processor. Now inside this begin and end, all we want to define our logics here to select, to insert, to update or to perform any calculation we will do all these things inside this begin and block. Now let's say that and also let's say that this is the stored processor create Procedure, let's say procedure, and let's say that simple as the name. Now, if I call this simple stored processor, what actually we will use something called call, and this is our processor name. Now, what we want from this video session, we want that let's say that we are going to use some variables, let's say some variables inside this begin and end block so how can we achieve this also if we want to pass some of the parameters inside this calling processor how can we achieve this here let's say that to pass parameters while calling store processor so while declaring all these parameters here, firstly we need to declare here as well. Now what is difference between parameters and the variables inside a stored processor? The variables which we use locally inside this begin and end simply known as variables. But the variables actually we will pass at the time of calling and also while declaring this while declaration of this stored processor, if you define about the parameters here, these are known as parameters. The parameters is all about our global scope, but the variables we declare inside this begin and end block is referred as local scope. So let's understand about the local variables means the variables inside this begin and end inside this video. In the next video, we will see about the parameters right here we will use by using our in, out, in, out, let's say parameters mode. So if I back to PHM admin, now go inside our routine sections. So if I go routine sections, now inside this routine, here we have created two stored processors. So also if we want to create one new, let's say that declare and let's say here I want to use call forward slash. Right here also we want to actually end with the declare and finally let's say that begin and end here. So while end, this is the terminating symbol I have used here. Now before begin, I want to create a stored processor. So create processor and let's say simple message or I want to select some of the records from a table. So let's say select data. I am using camel case here. Now inside this begin and end block, I am going to use our logic. So let's say select asterisk from let's say TBL or if I open a database into a new tab, we have called books table. So copy that, go here, let's say select all from books where but before going to this body section here we have some error and error is that unrecognized statement type. This is not declare, this is all about delimiter. Sorry for declaring wrong here, so copy that and replacing with that. This is all about delimiter. Now inside this, let's say that if I open books table, go at the top, 
Now here we have some ID. So on the basis of ID, I'm going to select any of the record from this table. So back again here, let's say that ID equal to, here we have to pass some value. Now I'm going to store the value inside a local variable inside this begin and block. So how can we declare our local variable inside this block? If I back to slide, open a new tag up again. So here we have to follow a syntax to declare any of the local variable inside the block is something called declare variable name, its type name, type name means it means varchar, integer or something else. Also if we want to provide some default value, so default as the key and here we have to provide as the default value. So this is the syntax we have to follow called declare variable name its type name, default and default value. So for example, let's say that declare, let's say book id, book underscore id and it should be int, default value we want something called zero. So this is the syntax we have to follow to define our local variable inside block. So if I copy back here, pasting it here, now here we have some more errors. So if I hover on this cross button, now e this is error about our semicolon. So don't worry at all. Now if I back to our books table, so here we have ID called 1, 2, 3. So let's say that I'm going to select the third number record. So default value I'm going to pass, let's say self declare book ID int and default value is 1, sorry 3. So if I copy this book ID, pasting it here, semicolon here. Now if I press submit button or control enter to go. Now successfully we have created our stored processor called select data which select the data of id3. So if I call this a stored processor, so copy the name back to SQL and let's see that call. This is the stored processor that we have made. Again if I press control enter or the go button Successfully as we can see that the third number ID we have called. But inside this video actually we have passed our ID as the static value because we have used our local variable scope. In our next video when we create about the parameters inside this calling store processor in that case actually we are going to use some dynamic value. On the dynamic ID value we are going to fetch that record. Now let's say that if I again back to our routine section go something click on the learn code igniter go to routine section and here is the store processor click on edit now let's say that this is all about the definition not i'm going to actually define the default value here let's say default value zero so how can we set the book id value here so here if you about if you want to set the value let's say set book id equal to three so this line is used to set any value inside a local variable. Okay, so let's say that we want to use called the second ID to select the data. So book ID equal to two. So successfully we have defined that if I press control enter or if I just go here, click on go button, successfully we have defined that. Now this time we have changed from book ID three to two, but we have changed right here something by using this set command. Now again, if I go here and execute, so this is the data we have selected from that table using this ID2. So if I again back to slides, let's say that this is all about defining the default value. If you want to redeclare the value inside this local variable, we use set here. So let's say set book ID and here we have to provide some value. So this video is all about using local variables inside our stored processor. In the, inside the next video session guys, we will see about that. How can we use about the global parameters using some parameter mode, something called in, out or in, out parameters mode. If I again back to phpMyAdmin and go to routines, inside these routines, if I edit any of these stored processor, click on edit. As we can see that this is all about defining parameters here. This is all about declaring global parameters. Those parameters actually we can call while calling our stored processor. 
if I click on add parameters as we can see that here we have called three parameter mode called in out in out so from next video session we are going to use such of parameters to call the dynamic value or the dynamic data we are going to fetch from the table so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day